Hello people, this is Self Dirts and in this video we'll learn what is OpenAI. So in the recent year, you must have heard about this term artificial intelligence. This is a, a very old technology, but in the recent years, it has gained so much popularity. So you must have heard the term, let's say ChatGPT or DALI or let's say GitHub Copilot. Everything is connected to OpenAI and let's understand that what is this OpenAI. So if you see the OpenAI, it says that OpenAI is an artificial intelligence research and development company. So prior to this video, I think you must have a notion that OpenAI is a technology, but it's not that. OpenAI is a company and it does what? It does research work and development work related to the artificial intelligence. It came into existence in the year 2014 and Elon Musk is one of the founders. So you must have heard about this name Elon Musk. He is the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX and he is a very smart guy. So there were few people who collaborated with each other and created this company that is called as OpenAI which does research and development work related to artificial intelligence. So what does this OpenAI company do? It basically shares its research publicly and collaborates with other company to further develop AI. So this is you can say just like an open source platform where the open AI people, they do some research work and then they publish those things to the people and where other developers, other enthusiasts, other AI people, they can collaborate and they can further develop the artificial intelligence technology. The most important point that this open AI company does is what it creates some common principles and protocol that can be adopted by anyone to create their own AI. The important part is like developing the common principles and protocol and it is very necessary if you are trying to develop a technology that can be used widely and many people are using it. So let's give an example for it. Standard protocols in the software are HTTP, SMTP and FTP. So you must have heard the names of this technology. So what does this HTTP do? It is basically a connection between two servers and we follow this protocol. So if you're creating a REST API, which follows this HTTP protocol and what does this protocol say? Like if you want to write REST API either in C language or let's say Python or in Node.js, there is a set of rules that you need to follow. And that is what the API that you are writing should have a HTTP verb. It can be get, post, put, delete, anything. It should have a resource, it should have body, it should have headers. So this is a standard protocol or the common principle that has been developed to basically write or work with the HTTP thing. The SMTP is what? For sending emails and receiving emails, we use this SMTP protocol. And there is FTP that is called as file transfer protocol. So let's say you are doing a file transfer in either Windows or Linux or anywhere. You need to follow this protocol because this is a this follows a set of common principles and protocol. This artificial intelligence is very new thing. People are developing new apps. They are creating new softwares out of it. So it is very important for a company to create common principles and protocol. And this is the responsibility of OpenAI. The idea behind OpenAI is it should be simple enough to use so that a layman can use a civil engineer can use it or let's say a sales guy can use it or let's say a pharmacist can use it anyone who is basically who knows how to type or something they can just go to the open ai website use some tools that are available there and they can use the technology whatever they want the second thing the idea are behind the open ai is like it can be used by anyone and not just expert so you don't need to be a artificial intelligence expert you 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 don't need to read those tens and thousands of books to understand artificial intelligence and then use it it is basically what anyone can use it who is having some basic understanding of artificial intelligence and how to use the tool it provides an unbiased environment where people can test their data so a sales guy can also provide some input to the open ai tools and they can get a result uh, let's say engineer can also put some input to the OpenAI tools and they can get some data. A developer can put some input and he can write the code. OpenAI can help us in multiple fields. So it can help us you to write the chatbot. So let's say you are uh, 
ordering the food from a food delivery app and basically there's a chatbot who basically chats with you for your queries there can be virtual assistants there can be translations like you can use the open ai tools to do the translation from one language to another from basically male to female translation can also be done you can do email writing so you can just say that okay i want to write a email for taking leave uh, on this day because of some sickness so it will write you an email we'll see that how we can write this email you can do the content writing so if you want to write some news article or let's say essays or book you can use this open ai tools some of the open ai tools are chat gpt so this gained popularity in last six months and people are using it to do multiple stuffs you can write code you can write emails anything whatever you want we will see it in this video light like how we can use it there is a DALI tool which basically is related to images like you can give an input text let's say a person sitting on a beach and it will create an image uh, for you uh, using the artificial intelligence. You can use the whisper tool which is basically automatic speech recognition tool which has been developed by the OpenAI community. There is the OpenAI codex tool which helps you in coding by doing a pair programming it suggests you the code. So these are the different tools which the OpenAI community uh, has developed and you can use it. Let's go to their website and see that what are these products and how we can use it. I'll go to my Chrome and here what I'll do, I'll just type OpenAI. So the first result is HTTPS OpenAI.com and this is the website that these guys have created. So this is the recent introduct, recent um, I think release introducing ChatGPT4 and this page can differ whenever you open like it depends like it they have changed it so let's go to the product section and go to overview and if you come here you will see that there are multiple things or uh, multiple products which are there so there is a gpt there is a dali which basically is an ai system that create realistic images and art from a description let's try this chat gpt plus it will take me to a new tab i need to do the sign up or login let's go to do the sign up it will ask you to do sign up and we can use our google account i'll just click ok and just use my account and you we are logged in this is the screen where you can see the examples capabilities and limitations are there so you can just explain to the chat gpt like what you want so i'll just say write an email to my manager to my manager for taking sick leave and let's see what the ai does so i'll hit enter here and it is then writing the response so let's see what is the output so it takes time because i am using a free version of the chat gpt i'm not using chat gpt plus so you can see here subject request for sick leave dear manager's name so see what is the beauty of it like it has given you a placeholder and here and you can just copy paste it and you can uh, add your manager name whatever his or her name is so it is saying i am writing to inform you that i am feeling unwell and unable to attend work due to my condition so th this is a long text that is present here but if you see this part it forms a very good email like it might have taken me half an hour or let's say 20 minutes to write such a good email but everything grammatically grammatically and uh, everything is divided into paragraphs and it looks very good so see the beauty of this chat gpt so i just said write an email to my manager for taking sick leave and basically it has written this email so you can also use other tools related to openai just go to their product section so you can visit their product section let's try to use their dali tool so this is the dali page and what you can do you can just say like some text whatever you want let's say a person sitting on a beach person um, eating something anything and it will create images using the artificial intelligence technology currently my uh, i think the credit has gone or let's say there is a load on the server of open ai that's why it is not accepting my request but you can just open this site type something hit generate and it will generate the image for you so this is the beauty of open ai so again i want to explain this part that this open ai is a company and it is not a technology so this company is creating common principle and standards related to the artificial intelligence so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you